You don't Why not, bruh? You don't say bruh. I do. Hi, Dale. Patrick. So, today's a different day in the bay. Uh, we have Track Addict in today. So, today we're going to be talking about how to maintain and clean your track car. So, we're not going to be going full out, like, show detail on this. It's going to be the ultra basics and a bit like detailing 101, but catering it to track cars. So, it's going to be more performance based products that are going to clean the car quicker. Nice. And um, what track car have you boys brought? Uh, we brought my uh, little Ford Puma along. Nice. Uh, I've owned this for. 11 years nearly, so it's like man and boy. I bought it as a, a birthday present for my 21st birthday and just haven't really been able to move on from it. Oh, it's, nice. Uh, perhaps some sort of sentimental attachment or maybe the fact that I just don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I like it, it's mine. Nice, and what sort of uh, modifications has it had done? Uh, literally everything, to be, to be fair, apart from uh, mainly under the bonnet, really. So anything that was made for a Puma that might turn it into more of a track car, I've bought it, fitted it, and then when I ran out of those parts to buy, I just started looking through the old, the other Ford catalogue of parts and making those fit. Nice. Um, had some pretty extensive aero work done by uh, BYC Design, so skirt, splitter, big rear wing. Um, it's got a roll cage, two bucket seats, harnesses. No, oh, just yeah, it works. It's, uh, absolutely, it's, it's absolutely, a race car, isn't it? Yeah, race, race car. car. Absolutely ruined as a road car. Perfect. Horrible driving it down here today on the M1. Amazing. That's where it's bad, isn't it? So. Nice one. Yeah. We started out as just a. A club sitting around Halfers car parks when we were like 17. Gangsters. Uh, as you do. And then we got into the track track scene, let's say, doing more track cars, track days, and so we were making our cars more track prepared and things. Yep. And then we decided that on Instagram, Facebook, there was nothing for, for the track car, mainly for a lot of stance things. So we just thought there was a niche in the market and we'll just bring everybody a bit closer that does track days. Hell yeah. So do you like write-ups of track days and stuff like that? Yeah, so we'll write up in the uh, the magazine, which is uh, Track Car Performance Magazine, about how track days go. Uh, we'll visit other people's track days, um, just for a day out kind of a yeah. spirit. Cool, so, so where do we start? Where do we start? So what I'm gonna show you first is we're gonna be talking about quite practical products that are quite ease of use for you. Um, so we're gonna start with the heavy duty cleaner and the all wheel cleaner. Now these are designed to kind of break down the kind of hard and grime and dust that's on the car, so it's gonna be super easy for you. So we'll start with the wheel cleaner. Now it is safe on all wheel types. It is pH balance as well. Never wet the wheel first, always make sure it's dry. No, see, I've been wetting the wheel. Ah, see, see so because it's a gel, yeah. it needs to cling to the wheel. Uh, I see, always jet washing it off first and then putting that on. And with other wheel cleaners, that's fine. Um, but with this one, you really want the wheel to be nice and dry. And always go from the bottom to the top, that way, as the product runs down, interacts with more product, you don't get streaks, yeah, okay. yeah? So you can get this on the tire as well. And always make sure that the wheel is nice and cold before you're doing this, because you don't want it to dry too quick on the surface, and also you don't want it in your eyes. So if you've done a hot lap at Brands Hatch, don't then, oh, I've got to clean my wheels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as you can see, we're all starting to get the reaction already, where it's interacting with the iron deposits that are on the wheel. It's gonna break those down, and all you need to do after that is maybe agitate it with a wheel brush, or just jet wash it straight off, depending how easy you want it. Yeah, I think sometimes I've left it on for, for too long before and it, oh, dry. okay. it like dries and like cakes on. Yeah, so, so if it's a particularly warm day, just do like one side at a time. Um, but on a cool day like today, we're okay to go around all four. So I'll get you guys having a play. Go on, go on then, the cleaning boy. So along the sills and kind of archway, we're gonna use the multi-purpose cleaner. Mm -hmm. Now this is great for just breaking down kind of hard and dirt and grime. Doesn't break down rust or anything, does it? Not at all. <laughs> it just highlights it. <laughs> so you can go along the bottom areas of the paintwork, like I say, inner arches, engine bays, oh, yeah. anything that's grimy and dirty, this thing will break down the grease and dirt and remove it for you. So I just use it as a nice kind of prep for the surface. 
So just get it nice and on there, you can go like all around the exhaust, around the spoiler, everything basically. Yeah. It's just gonna break that down for you. So when you come to jet wash the wheels, jet wash that as everything well. comes off as well. Uh, yeah, all the kind of hard and dirt and ground. Cause you wanna get all this off before cleaning it. Yeah. Cause you don't wanna be pushing it around the paintwork. Like I say, it, all the stuff we're gonna be using today is gonna be quick and easy and practical. We're not going for a full detail on this. We just wanna make it look nice for the track. One thing I know you guys have used before is that wash plus. That's wicked. <clears throat> so the reason I wanted to use this on yours today is solely because it's fit for purpose. You know, it's going to get all that hard and sticky kind of track grime from the front of the car and the rest of the car off with no problem at all. Because it's got the polishing agent as well, it's going to give it some gloss as well. I know making them look shiny is getting more important, like you said, at the, yeah, at the track. People yeah. are getting way more into detail in the cars. Really? The track cars? Yeah. Is that it's, it it's, Photos yeah. and stuff like that whilst on track. So. Yeah, it's... Um, People are loving it now, so they've all, yeah, they've all, like, well, I wouldn't have thought that, just most track cars are like, nah, it's a track car, isn't it? You don't want to clean it, but I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? The way this works, as you know, just take my washer off, is it's it's like a deconstructed wash. So you have your bucket of clear water with a grit guard in the bottom, microfiber wash mitt. The reason I use these rather than the lambs wool is because these are going to get a bit more grimy than a regular one, so you can machine wash them, so it means you can maintain them a lot easier. Get a nice ribbon of product. On there. I'm doing it right then, that's how I put it Exactly, on. yeah. That's it. We had somebody that sent us a picture of the perfect Meguiar's M logo. I don't know how they did it. And then just work the area. Because it's got those polishing agents, it will remove light scuffs and scratches, uh, but it'll also get those embedded bugs and grime. Yeah, it's really good for you. As well. Exactly that. And then, once you've worked an area, go into your water with a grip guard, rub the wash mitt on there, rinse it out, and then go again. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will say that you need two buckets, but because we're kind of applying the shampoo directly to the wash mitt. You've already got your rinse bucket here, so there's no need for a wash bucket. Because we've used the, the Wash Plus, any protection you might have had on there, because in an abrasive, it will remove that. Yeah. So if you do want a bit of protection, um, my go-to would be the really ceramic good. wax. Yeah, exactly. So this is our new easy coating ceramic wax. Now for the first application, you need to spray it on the wet panel and then dry it. And that evenly spreads the ceramic coating. Right, okay. So then when you reapply it, it's got something to bond to, because at the moment there's nothing for it to bond to. Right, okay. So we're just gonna the panel like this. Probably do it on the wing. So, wet the panel, get the ceramic coating, just nicely spray it on there like that. Like I say, we're not, because I know, you know, you're not that worried about doing a whole stage correction and stuff like that. This is the easiest yeah, yeah, form yeah. of getting a bit of protection on there. And then with our drying towel, just wipe the surface, and this just creates that base layer for you. Which means the next time you use it, it grabs it's onto there it and bonds and it. Onto it. Exactly. See, it's already filling the water. Never, never beaded like that before. <laughs> and then just reapply it again. And then just rinse. So there's no cure time or anything like that. And that's it. Sweet. I like it. Yeah, super easy. That's like, like, that's like mine is easy. Literally just off. Is and it that noise as well? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd only ever do the, the using it as a drying aid, the first application. Right. You don't, you don't need much either, it's kind of like a couple of three to four sprays of each yeah. panel. Oh, excellent work. Yeah, love yeah. that. Fantastic drying, that one. Was it good? Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was some detailing one on one stuff. I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. On I mean, look how dry that, that panel is. <laughs> <laughs> Then get the product on there. 
and then just spray it off. Yeah, so when you next come to wash this, you'll only need to do that procedure. You only need to do this right on and yeah, exactly it that. Oh, ah. yeah. How's that? Yeah. Easy? Easy. I can easy. do that. Ceramic's made easy. Yeah. Catch mine. <laughs> So what's the starting procedure? Starting procedure? Like, it's very technical, it's like an airplane. Okay. It's not. Oh. <laughs> There's like switches and flicks. Uh, and... No, not really, no. There is just a kill switch, but that's kind of... Oh, removable steering wheel though. Just, well, you can't get any otherwise, it's a bit... It's not exactly graceful at the best of times, so... But the starting procedure is technical. You have a key. Right. Not go. like any other ordinary car. No, 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 no. And you go... Race car. Yeah, see. So all these people that overcomplicate their race. They still cars. got electric windows. Yeah. Cannot live without electric windows. Look at that. You see all these people with silly little polycarb sliders on their car track cars that they go out on the road in. In the summer they just cook. <laughs> they can't get any air in. So while like lightweight. You become like a dried prune. You need electric windows. <laughs> Now in the tanning bay, it's a lot warmer um, than it is outside. Solely because we want to now dress and protect the glass. Mm. Um, you mentioned earlier, especially on track days, you want to be using your wipers as little as possible. Um, so what we're going to do, put, we're going to clean and cleanse the glass first. We're going to use our glass cleaner to kind of remove any grease and dirt. Then we're going to use the compound to kind of remove any kind of contaminants that are sitting on the glass, anything that's bonded to it. And then we're going to use the sealant to give it that protection. Um, so what we're going to start with first is our clarity glass cleaner and like all of our products less really is more so it's just a light mist get the towel nice and folded wipe one way and you can use this on the vinyl as well so because it's a matte finish it's going to clean it without leaving glossy streaks and then buff the other way that way you never get white lines yeah. Yeah. One thing I'm really bad at is cleaning the inside of a windscreen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but whenever I do it, it just I get in the car and think, oh, that's really cool. Get in the car, I can't see anything. It okay. just seems to like really fog up so or like shadow. Yeah, it's just. So what you can do is get a brand new towel, get two towels, spray the towel directly, then wipe the glass, yeah. and then buff with the second towel the opposite way. That way you'll never get one. So I've got like those. Um, it's like a glass cleaning cloth. Yeah. It's like a blue, like quite thin yeah. cloth. And it, I don't know. I don't know if it works no. right or not. No, it might be dragging the product. So I use as the buffing towel, our finishing towel. Right. Okay. Because it's super soft, it will remove any of those excess residues. Those, yeah. So I'd use that for it inside the glass. Yeah. No, he's, 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 he's done his own thing. It's yeah, alright though. Did I not, not wipe it right? You, this one way. Oh, okay. I mean, you adopted the circle technique. I'm a little bit like. Nice. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I just detailing what I want. Hey, detailing hey, one of. Good plug. <laughs> it's a good plug. And that's all generally honest as well. When Patrick joined, he's fantastic with the camera and stuff like that. But when it comes to I car care, he was complete novice. Yeah, but I was doing all this, and then <laughs> you, this. you were like, oh, hashtag effects, so I use that all yeah. the time. And now, it really worked. Yeah. You know, um, especially when removing detailer or wax, you just make sure you don't get those wipe lines. I think we might like series two of detailing 101. Yeah, but the, uh, <laughs> series two with track addicts. <laughs> yeah. That'd be amazing. Detailing track 101. Addict to, track addict to cleaning addicts. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jay and I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to be using the compound next. Yeah. So what this is going to do is give a real deep cleanse to the glass and remove any of those bonded contaminants that might be on there. So, what I'm going to do is prime the pad. So I'm going to get a line of product there and then just feed it into the pad. This way it keeps the surface nice and lubricated. And then just give it a deep scrub. Obviously try and avoid this because you don't want to start making this shiny. Yeah. So if you want, you can take this up. 
suppose it's quite important in a track car to be able to see out the windscreen. Yes. It is indeed. Yeah, you kind of, not so much where you've been, but where you're going, definitely. So it doesn't matter if you do circles or straight lines in this, as long as you're just kind of getting a bit of heat through there, just to remove any kind of bonded contaminants. And what this does is just prep the surface, like we did with the Wash Plus before applying the ceramic coating. And then just grab a towel. Don't let it cure, just take it straight off. Don't let it dry on there then. Exactly that. So it's not going to remove scratches or anything like that because you need diamond grade compounds for that. Yeah. All it is just removing any light hazing, any oversprays or anything that might be on the, sitting on the glass. You're going to be at least three seconds quicker. Just on the basis of clean glass. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Airflow and all that. I don't know. That's just clean stuff, I think. Yeah, it's airflow, mate. It's the way the air goes off the windscreen. Although Luke from Revo said something different, he says you need a little bit of unevenness on the surface of the paint yeah, or something. You need to generate oh, really? vortex. That's what he said. See? You need I to generate, like generate vortex. So you don't know how to clean a car, but you know how to use big words like vortexes. That's not a big word. Six letters. <laughs> well, it seems bigger than it is. <laughs> anyway, dyslexic. <laughs> so we're going to use a sealant now. So we're going to use a lot less product. And we're just going to do half again at the time. And all we need is a few little drops like that. And this is one of our products that you definitely don't want to smell. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. We're going to do. The, I really want to We're going to no. be doing the cross hatch, so in nice, clean, straight lines, nice, just like that. No, you're doing. So I'm going to go across, and then I'm going to go up and down, and then we're going to leave it. So this is the first of two applications we're going to do. Like a wax, you're going to let this cure. Um, there's no kind of set time. It's just to just until it's dry. Yeah, you'll kind of see it kind of hazes up a bit more, cloudier. So to remove this. We're just going to use water. Secret special water. Secret special water. Uh, but we sell this quite a premium. <laughs> um, all we're going to do is just a light mist on the glass. On the glass. Tom's been using this because he has it on that setting. There we go. Light mist on the glass. And all this does is kind of breaks the kind of surface tension of the product without affecting its protection. If you go in with glass cleaner straight away, you can compromise it. And again, wipe one way with a finishing towel. No circles. No circles. If you can, if you can avoid circles, that'd be great. Cool, and that's it. So, step one. I'd say, when you, if you ever use this in the future, just avoid glass cleaning straight away because it will compromise that protection. Water just neutralizes the surface. Yeah. Do the final layer, but the difference between this one is we won't let this one cure. Take, put it on, take it straight off. So we'll get the whole glass covered and we'll take it off.